Where are you from, Trevino? Where's home for you? Home for me is Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, where are you currently sitting right now? Right now, I'm in Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right. Tell me a little bit about how you got from Green Bay or from Atlanta to Green Bay. Tell me that. I found out about skill work at the beginning of 2022, coming off the end of the pandemic. So everything was starting to open back up. A recruiter called me one day and, and was telling me about a great opportunity he has. And I took a test. I interviewed with one company up here. And next thing I know, I was on my way up here. <laughs> Smooth like that. That's quick. <laughs> uh, how's it been traveling? I mean, how has it been? I mean, that's a big culture change. That's a demographic. I mean, you are you are moving out of Atlanta to Green Bay. I mean, there's no similarities between those two environments. Let's just call it call it what it is. How's that been for you? Um, it's, it's been great. It's, it's been great. I think um, it, it teaches you um, intangible skills that you, you can't get by uh, by not traveling, uh, having to go somewhere else and join another maintenance team and learn how they work. And, and you also have to travel and figure out where you're going to stay and, you know, where you're going to eat and things like that. Um, I, I think it gives you a lot of, it, it makes you well-rounded as a, a worker. That's great. Does, do some of those soft skills that you just talked about, I mean, just life skills that you're using, have you started to apply some of those even in your maintenance roles? I mean, have you been able to apply some of that, like just tenacity and, and the ability to go, oh yeah, I have to think outside of the box and solve this problem. Have you started to see any of those skills in your own life evolve into uh, moving your maintenance career forward? Definitely, I've, I've seen it to where, let's say I'm going to make a repair. Whereas uh, when I first started out, I would be nervous. I would. I wouldn't want to take the machine apart, but now it's like, I just throw my entire toolbox at it um, until I figure out what the problem is. And I try to fix it because I know I can fit it back together. So whatever it is, if I take it apart, I fit it right back together.